Hello everyone, welcome to Open Source Cook. This is yet another video for electronic enthusiasts, hobbyists, and in this video, we are going to make something interesting that is going to be really useful for you for calculating the value of resistors. So, oh, the most interesting aspect of resistors is how to find out their values so if you notice I have some resistors over here and most commonly used resistors have four color bands out of which the first three define the value of the resistor and the last one which is usually silver or gold defines the tolerance I, how much uh, variation can be there in the value of the rest now usually people will give you a mechanism of uh, remembering uh, the colors associated with the numerical value of the resistor by uh, usually that um, phrase of BB Roy of Great Britain something but um, this is not going to help you in long term because every time you're going to remember this phrase then try to recalculate the value and so on and uh, you know, to do it in a better way today we are going to make something interesting which is called as a color code disk now using the color code disk you will be able to find out the value of the resistor much faster and believe me after you have used this resistor color code disk for some time you will automatically start remembering the combinations it is kind of a photographic memory that you would have developed for these colors and the resistor values so let's see how we can make a color code disk and what are the things that will be required for that okay so to make a color code disk you need a thick white paper and we need to make three circles into that three concentric circles okay and then we need to divide these circles into 11 equal parts fine so dividing a circle into 11 equal parts that means one slice of the circle is going to be around 32.7 degrees so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create marks in this smallest one and then I'm going to cut all these three circles and place them on top of each other and make the remaining marks on that now cut the circles and uh, I'm going to align these holes together just temporarily I'm going to place it like this and while keeping it like this I'm going to mark the remaining lines okay so the lines are marked the next thing that we need to do is fill these with respective colors so the colors uh, which are represented are black for 0 brown for 1 red for 2 orange is 3 yellow is 4 green is 5 blue is 6 violet is 7 gray is 8 and white is 9 okay and uh, there is gold and other things we'll discuss about that later okay so let's start coloring so first we need black so I have these color pencils which I had taken a long time back and never used them so I'm going to fill black over here 
Now, if you have sketch pen or something, you can use that. Okay. I'm just going to roughly fill it like this. So I'm not going to fill it up completely, I'm going to write something in between these things, so I'm just going to keep some area for writing the values so that it's easier for you to calculate. Okay. Next we need is brown. So we pause the video here and then we'll continue once this is completed. Okay, so now I have colored all of them according to the values. So starting from brown, uh, black, brown, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, this is grey and this is white. Um, okay, so now if you have a color printer probably you can just uh, make this as a printout and use it directly and uh, if you have sketch pens or some better colors then uh, this can come out much better anyways now what we are going to do is place the number but before that I'm going to use this small screw nut and uh, put it over here fine so that it does not keep coming out all the time so we'll just pause the video here so next we are going to write the numbers for the first one which directly represents the starting value of your or the first uh, value of your resistor so this is going to be 0 ok this is black 0 brown is 1 red is 2 orange is going to be 3 yellow is going to be 4 now why did I fill it up completely I don't know 4 5 6 7 8 9 Okay, since I used a white paper, I don't need to fill the white one. This I'm going to leave as it is. Okay, now what goes into the second one? Second one is going to be the same. We just need to fill the numbers as it is. Now, what about the last one? So, when you have a resistor, you count uh, your tolerance ring tolerance ring of your resistor is kept on the right hand side and we start counting from the left hand side towards right right hand side so the first one is the first value for the resistor second is the second value and third one is called the multiplier okay so what is the multiplier over here black is simply ohms so I'm just going to write it as the ohm symbol over here okay
the brown is multiplier of 10 so let us say if you have a 220 ohms resistor you will have red red and brown over here fine so this is to be basically this is a multiplier of 10 it's a multiplier of 1 10 100 and so on so over here I am just going to write it as instead of a multiplier a easier way is to write it as 0 ohms okay so this becomes whatever two values come over here put a zero ahead of that that is the value of your resistor now next is red okay this is a hundreds multiplier so what you will get is whatever these two values are multiplied by hundred those many ohms now we don't talk in terms of ohms all the time resistor values are given in terms of uh, ohms kilo ohms mega ohms so here I am going to use a point ohms point k ohms what it means is this is going to be 2.2 .2 kilo ohms this is what you need to remember fine so uh, let us this will be equal to x dot x kilo ohms this is what will be your representation fine so this becomes 2.2 .2 kilo ohms ok so next is the orange so we had um, this multiplier orange is a thousandths multiplier so this is directly going to be 33,000 ohms ok or simply 33k so here we are just going to write kilo ohms fine now this is yellow is a 10,000 multiplier we are going to refer this as 0 kilo ohms ok so whatever combination you get let us say 2 4 three. so you have red yellow and yellow so you are going to get 240 kilo ohms ok so after this this green is for mega ohms but point meg ok the next multiplier a zero will be increased just like we had red for point k this is going to be for point meg so we are going to write it as point meg ohms so you can write it as x dot x megs this is what will be the representation so this is going to be 5.5 megs or whatever next you have blue this will be direct multiplier for mega ohms so you could directly say it as mega ohms fine now after this you have violet fine usually you will not go above uh, these sequences uh, mega ohms registers you will not need them so currently uh, we can stop over here up to blue these you will uh, not notice in many of the cases and the special case is the gold one gold one is used for values below 10 ohms so this is a 
point ohms fine this will be your third ring for point ohms so this is what is our color code disk and this is ready now so now let us say we want to measure some resistors with this or not measure but want to calculate the values so I have few resistors over here and uh, which I have here is this is brown red and brown so brown red and brown this is 120 ohms so let's see if it is yes so it is approximately the same okay so here we have a resistor which is brown black and brown which is brown sorry brown black and my mistake brown black and black so this becomes 1 0 ohms that is 10 ohms so with tolerance it should be somewhere near 10 ohms okay okay so here I have a brown black and gold resistor this is brown black and gold means this is 1 ohms that is 1.0 ohms so here let us measure this okay showing me 2.0 ohms on the meter but one thing that you need to remember is we are measuring very small resistance over here so I'll just see if I'm getting a zero with this uh, the leads shorted so you can notice that yes the here the resistance of the leads itself is 1 ohms now they are in series so we are getting a higher resistance okay so which is so it's fair to say it is a 1 ohms resistor okay so this is your color code disk once you make it and start using it you will automatically start remembering the resistor color code this is a very practical and useful item so hope you like the video please comment and subscribe to our channel thanks for watching